Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are heading inside of the stadium on Warzone. So, taking a look at our map, we are going to be heading to the stadium and going to the fire station right next to the stadium to grab the buggy and the truck. You will need both vehicles for this glitch. And yeah, we're just going to be taking those to the very back. And I'm going to show you a waypoint right here very, very shortly. I do want to say I am recording over this gameplay, so if I sound delayed or ahead of anything, that is why it is not a live comp. Where you see that waypoint is where we're going to be taking the vehicles roughly. I'm going to show you here in just a moment where we have the truck and the buggy. Me and my duo decided to do this. Now, you can do this solo. You don't have to have a friend to do this with. It just makes things a little bit easier and less time consuming. But um, yeah, we're going to be heading in here and getting right into the action, man. This one's a really cool glitch. I do want to say that we did not use this in any competitive advantage way. We did not get a win off this. We didn't even get a kill from here. But if you guys decide to, you know, camp up here to get a win or something or to get a kill, there is that possibility you will get banned because you are using it in a unfair way. So I'm just giving you that disclaimer now. I always tell you guys anytime I do a glitch video or something similar that there is a chance that you could get banned for doing this if you are doing it repeatedly and in a way that is giving you an unfair advantage. But we're doing this for entertainment purposes and doing it for complete fun and to make this video here today. This one has been uploaded on YouTube a couple times by a couple different people. I did check. Don't know who the founder is. Um, so, you know, if the founder happens to see this video or this video blows up at all, you know, feel free to leave a comment. But you want to line that buggy up right by those metal things that spin when you walk through them. I don't know what the actual term for them is. You want to run the truck right up the buggy. And you want to just kind of jam it in there so you're, it's nice and high up towards that spot on the ceiling where Mimic right now is jumping through. And um, you need to, like, get the truck stuck up there. It'll take a couple times. The buggy sometimes slides out. But if you kind of go left and right a little bit, um, it'll kind of just get stuck in place eventually. And you can basically just jump up here into that spot. So we're going to reposition the truck here. Uh, Mimic did not get up there until I got up there. But this is the attempt that we do get it right here. Mimic's going to drive me up there. And we are going to be getting into the glitch spot. You want to aim for this corner that I'm looking at right now. And you want to just kind of jump in and then crouch as soon as you get in and you'll hop into the spot this is the first part of the glitch and we do kind of have some fun with it man we kind of work around in here and um see where we can go now this is just the first part don't go anywhere man because this one gets a lot better really really soon but um if you guys could do me a huge favor leave a like on this video man it helps me it helps the channel a ton and uh yeah it just you know helps the channel out so i would really appreciate it if you do that for me um, so we are just up here kind of chilling and um, like I said, this is just the first part of the glitch There's actually a lot of area you can explore when you're just kind of working around up here So mimic's gonna go first. I made him be bait because I'm recording and I didn't want to um, you know risk it But um, I do actually fall out of here the first time by doing this I actually got back in the truck because I have contextual on but we do get right back up in there uh, very very quickly but Mimic's going to go exploring some more. Um, as you guys can see, though, um, I don't know if I show it here in the gameplay, but you cannot be seen up in this spot. Like, you can see right here, you cannot see him at all hiding up in there. Um, he is completely hidden. So you could see how this could be, you know, an unfair advantage for some things where, um, you know, if the final circle was in this spot and you were up there somehow or you waited it out the whole game, um, but you would pretty much be good to go unless they were on heartbeat and they knew about this spot. But we're going to be getting right back up here. And um, I'm going to show you guys the rest. Now, Mimic, I think, is already out of the map and to some of the cool spots that you can get into. And he just died. He actually just flew right off. And I'm going to show you guys some of that really quick. So this is where we kind of get inside the stadium right here. You can see it is completely empty. You can drop down here. You can walk in here. You can kind of see outside. And this is the inside of the stadium. There's literally nothing here yet. It is just a pit of air. So, you know, we do have the game files for the interior stadium, but there's literally nothing inside of it yet, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, it'd be cool if they at least added, like, the seats or something around in there. But um, this is an actual area in real life, too. I don't think I want to put a picture up on screen right now just because I want you guys to take in this image. Like, this looks sick, man. I think it looks so sick just seeing the entire, like, area. But right here on the ground, you can walk on everything you can see on the ground right now. Um, you can walk around all in here, and I'll show you guys a bunch of stuff that we walk around in here. I do eventually die to the gas, but I'm going to show you that you can actually, like, glide over to certain ledges. And uh, it's actually really cool. 
So I'm crouch walking here, seeing where we can go. And uh, I didn't know at first this was all like stable ground and stuff, but you can see it's literally just a pit of nothingness. But we are inside the stadium, and you can see the full interior, man. It's actually really, really sick. So we're gonna go over here and explore a little bit. The voice is given out on me as always for recording, but um, you know, we're gonna be checking this part out. We're gonna. There's a lot more. There's actually a lot you can get into and walk around in here. Uh, it's actually a surprisingly large area that you can explore just by doing this one little jump in. But um, you can see me shooting, and I started shooting like out towards this area to see if I could see the bullets hitting. But I think they were just hitting like the invisible barriers that are blocking that. I don't think there's any like actual bullets going through or penetrating at all. So the gas is going to be coming here, and that's when I start running from it and seeing how much of the map we can actually check out. And um, I was really surprised at how much of the map we could actually get into. So we're going to be walking over here, and this part was sick, man. I, I tried to make this ledge jump, and um, we actually did it. And you can go in here. I was, like, super freaking out when I saw that we could go in here. And, um, you know, you glitch right back through the wall and almost fell off there. And this one was also super sketch. Um, but we did get over that one and into this one. And this is just, like, the stadium entrance where you would actually enter the stadium, which is super sick. Um, I think this is the one uh, that's really, really sick. <laughs> You, I like glide jumped over it. It was super awesome. And then I died from the storm. Like right there, that was super cool. Um, but I do die from the storm right here. Now, when I went down, I actually floated on the invisible barrier before falling. I had to go over to the left and go to the main edge. And then you just fall right down through. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the sponsor in the equipment description below. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.